Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this one I'm going to be doing my nails with this Rossi kit. Um, I'm going to be using two of the powders. Now I have already done my nails here. Um, unfortunately I did accidentally lose the beginning of the video so I'm just showing you what I'm using. Um, so I'm going to be using these two powders. Um, these dip powders. This one is Vacay Time. This one is Skyscraper. Um, I've got some swatches so I can show you what they look like. So there's a beautiful grey and the other one is like a coral with gold mixed through it and they're both fine. You can see I did um, sort of a half and half on this nail. Um, so yeah, unlike me, um, these nails are very, very short. Um, but I just wanted a quick design that I could do um, just with these liquids and powders and see how I get on with them and how my nails grow and if I can do infills and things like that. So this is kind of an experiment that will be ongoing. So I'm using the base coat um, and then I've got the activator and then I've got the top coat as well, all from Rossi as well. So yeah, that is what I'm using. Um, so yeah, and when the video starts, I have prepped my nails. Um, I've not put any primer on, but I did prep them. Um, and then I'm trying to, if you look at them from the side view, let's try and focus a little bit. I wanted a bit of a curve on them because my nails are naturally flat. So um, I did that by putting um, just the base coat right in the center of the nail, not going up to the end. Um, and then I did um, just one dip of the colour and that's where the video starts off in a minute. Okay, so like I said, I have just put, um, I've actually put two coats um, of the, the dip powder just in the middle of the nail. So this is me putting the second um, coat on that index finger. Um, so you can see it isn't covering the entire nail. But on the thumb, because I was doing this half and half, this diagonal, um, I've not done the middle part yet. I'm just doing the, um, I've done the coral color and now I'm just doing the, um, the gray. So that is just one coat on that nail. And then when it's been on for at least 30 seconds, then it's okay to brush off. This one isn't a really fast setting one, which I find is a lot better. Um, now you can see I'm putting the base coat on the entire nail now um, before I dip it into the powder and I am just wiping off the brush on some kitchen paper before I put it back in the bottle. So yeah, and then on this middle one I'm not doing the entire nail um, because I am doing, uh, sorry, I am putting the base coat on the entire nail but I'm doing a bit of a half and half on this. Um, so I'm doing the coral at the bottom and then I'm doing the silver at the top. I wanted to try it with me already sort of putting the apex bit in grey first and seeing if it would cover it up with the coral and it did and it worked um, as I wanted it to so that's how that looks. Obviously they look a bit rough now because um, you know they've not been filed and everything. So this is the middle finger again and this is the second sort of half and half coat that I'm doing. So in total they do get four coats uh, at least four coats of the dip powder and it depends how thick you want them. I wanted mine thicker because um, my nails are really, really short and they're really thin because I've had false nails on for a long time. So I wanted them to be protected so that they can grow out and I can infill them. So you can see there from the side, they are quite chunky and they do have a curve to them. They're not just completely flat. So they are gonna look thicker than they should be um, for a while till I can infill them when they've grown out a bit because I want them to be strong I don't want them to be snapping and then me having to file everything off and start again so I'm just putting another base coat onto the thumbnail and then I can do sort of the half and half again on this one So what I'm doing on this one, instead of putting the, the dip powder in the center of the nail um, and doing that apex underneath, I am just doing more layers 
of the half and half dip powder so that I'm going to use the file to create the shape of the nail because I wanted a bit of an experiment to see which worked the best. So now I'm just going in with the activator. So I'm putting this over the entire nail and then when that has dried for at least a minute I go in with the second coat of the activator but I didn't film the second coat because it's just exactly the same. So obviously they do look rough, they do look chunky at the moment. So when the second coat of the activator is completely dry, that is when I can go and file them. So I filed them now, I'm just spraying my little nail brush with alcohol and then I'm brushing the nails, getting rid of any excess dust before I put the top coat on. So when I'm happy with that and it's dried a little bit, I'm going in with the top coat and I am putting two coats of this on all of the nails. So I did go very carefully with this and I do put, um, so it does um, go on a bit slower. And this top coat, it does take a while to dry, I'd say at least a minute, maybe even two minutes for each coat to dry. But at least you know then that it is um, fully, you know, encapsulated and everything and it's cured properly, it's dried properly. So I do really love the way that these look, I love the way that they turned out. Um, this is definitely going to be something that I do in the future. It's just easier for me because um, I have got a lot on at the moment and it's just easier, an easier process for me to do on my own nails because once they start growing out, I'm going to do another video of me trying to infill these and see if that works because if it does, then I have got, you know, I've got a good foundation and my nails are going to stay strong. So this is them all complete with the top coat on. So now I'm just going to put some cuticle oil on because they are really dry and I'll just show you putting that on one hand um, even though I do put it on both. So here they are all finished. What do you think? Um, I am an ambassador for Rossi and you can get my 20% off code um, if you go in the description box and look for that. So I think 20% is a really good discount. Um, and obviously this is a good um, way to do your nails. You know, if you're in a rush or if, you're, if you don't want to mess about with UV lamps and things like that, you can just do this. It's an easy way. I absolutely love this kit and I would recommend it. Uh, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Um, yeah, and that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and stay in, stay safe and look after yourself. See you next time. Bye.